Yeah. It's too much. You got knocked the f out, man! What's going on, y'all? What it is? So let's go ahead and slide on this topic, and I want to talk about this crazy story that's going down with Dwight Howard. Now, over the years, we heard all the rumors and all the speculation that Dwight Howard could be potentially gay, but at the end of the day, it's nobody's business but his, but because he's lived his life in the public spotlight for so many years, and quite frankly, he's an NBA legend, you know, of course, you got to watch how you move. And so Dwight Howard has been ousted a couple of times in regards to who he likes to go to bed with. <laughs> now if you guys can remember about four or five years ago there was a stands woman by the name of Messine that put Dwight Howard business all the way out there on front street and by the way when I say stands I'm paraphrasing here I'm pretty sure you guys are smart enough to put two and two together to figure out what I'm trying to say so the stands woman by the name of Messine basically said that she met Dwight Howard on the set of Wild and Out the two of them locked eyes and you know the conversation ensued now Messine went on to say that she was extremely attracted to Dwight and that she has dealt with a lot of male celebrities before so this wasn't her first rodeo and so in an effort to protect Dwight's business celebrity status and image Messine suggested that when they would communicate on social media that Dwight should use a burner account or a fake account so no one would be able to be in his business if any type of conversations between the two of them leak well isn't that special <laughs> Now, it seems as though everything was all good in the hood until Messine found out that Dwight was sleeping with another Stan's woman and also that Dwight had been attending intimate parties with gay and other Stan's women as well. And so Messine got into her feelings. She started to expose private messages between her and Dwight, DMs, text messages, and things of that nature. She went on to say that Dwight wanted to polish a knob, that he wanted to take back shots, and basically said that Dwight was nothing more and nothing less than a 6'11 bottom. Oh, so, so you doing the bending? Now, at the time, Dwight responded to the situation like he didn't know who she was, said that they never met, didn't understand why a person he never met would put out these lies about him. I believe Dwight got some pastor involved. They tried to get Messine to sign an NDA. She declined. And Messine also said that Dwight and this pastor basically said, if you keep talking, you're going to catch some flying elbows. So, you know, that really ticked her off. And then she really went in and started to really expose more and more and more about the situation. Now, the pressure became so unbearable and the air around Dwight at that particular time became suffocating with all these allegations stacked up against him and so he decided to speak about the situation and this is what he had to say about the claims that Messine was making about the two of them dating I went through a situation last year that kind of um, just it really just set me free okay in the situation, uh, it was an allegation with, you know, a guy who said uh, it ended up being a situation that was it went viral. Mm -hmm. People were talking about it. And it, it upset me because I didn't even know who the person was. And I'm like, why was somebody who I've never met, never had any contact with, make up a whole story about me? And I saw all the hate, the pure hate from people that I've never met before just pile up. Jackson Everywhere I went against me. And I think that liberated me um, because I saw how a lot of people would feel, whether they're, they're gay, whether they're straight, whether they have issues. People are afraid to be who they are. They're afraid to just step out and be, like you said, um, because they're afraid of what other people might say or think about them. And so that situation made me realize you're not like this, but just be you, be free. Meaning you're it's, not gay. I'm, yeah, I'm not gay. So just, it's a lot of people who are, mm -hmm. and they have to hide. And it's people who have mental issues and they have to hide. It's people who have different problems in life and they have to hide. They have to put on a mask every day. It's like, well, I don't want to wear no mask. All right, so you guys just heard that. Now, in my opinion, I felt like Dwight was about to come out or on the verge of coming out during that interview based off of the things that he was saying. 
he said that he felt liberated. I mean, how you feel liberated unless you're about to come out and tell your truth, right? Because you was accused of something that you're ultimately saying that wasn't true. And then he also said that the situation he went through made him feel free. He talked about not wearing a mask and being who you truly are. So I felt like he was setting it up to go ahead and tell the world, hey, this is who I am as a person, but only for him to deny having any type of relationship with Masin. Now, back in 2021, Dwight met another man by the name of Stephen Harper. They met on line and things of that nature and they actually met and so basically this guy Stephen Harper ended up suing Dwight because he felt like Dwight did some shady stuff that violated his personal space and just disrespected him as a human being and so Dwight has come out now and he's not denying the allegations that he met this guy based off the fact that he wanted to hook up with him so Dwight has definitely at this particular point in time taken off the mask and it says here a man named Stephen Harper has sued the former Lakers star Dwight Howard for a B intentional infliction of emotional distress and false and pre Howard denied he has said a man he met on Instagram and has asked a court to dismiss the man's bombshell lawsuit according to court documents obtained by RadarOnline.com the NBA legend has admitted that he met his accuser Stephen Harper on social media in May of 2021. Harper said he reached out to Howard with a direct message on Instagram. He said he sent his cell phone number which Howard texted right after he received. In his lawsuit he said Howard told him he was into some freaky ass stuff and that he asked for Harper to send him explicit photos. In his response Howard said he did exchange texts with Harper between May 2021 to July 2021 several of which included s explicit content such as photographs and videos. The ex-NBA star said Harper came over to his home on July 19, 2021. Howard admitted they went into his bedroom, removed their clothing, and engaged in consensual kissing. In his lawsuit, Harper claimed Howard surprised him by bringing out a man dressed as a woman. Harper said the man called himself Kitty in his complaint, Harper said Howard wanted a threesome with Kitty, but he resisted. He said Kitty started performing top on Howard. Harper said he was uncomfortable and did not want to participate. He said Howard tried to touch his thigh and stroke his wood. <laughs> All right, so guys, it goes deeper than that and it's too deep. So I suggest that you guys go read up on everything that this guy, uh, Stephen Harper, had to say about this situation. And so he goes on to say that he asked Dwight Howard numerous of times to stop and said Dwight insisted that he wasn't going to stop and that he was going to do what he want and that he was going to like it. Now, Harper goes on to say that Dwight pinned him down on the bed and forced himself on him. But Dwight's lawyer is saying that it was all consensual. Now, Dwight also said that Harper knew that Kitty was going to show up. So it wasn't something that he was sideswiped on. He knew before he arrived to the home that Kitty was going to come to the house as well. And Howard did admit that Kitty was dressed as a woman. Now, Masin did respond to the allegations. She posted this gift right here. And then she also said, all that hooting and hollering this clown did just to admit that he likes to go to S parties. So she basically responded to the accusations that Harper has against Dwight, basically saying, I told y'all back in the day, back in 2018, that this is what this dude was about. But anyway, if Dwight is gay, that's his prerogative. There's nothing wrong with it. He needs to live his life how he sees fit. And so the only issue I have is the allegations about Harper is true. No one should be forced to do anything. So Dwight is definitely wrong on that part. But you have to understand that this dude, Dwight is a multimillionaire and it's not above the realm of possibility that people see money. And that's not to invalidate or discredit any of Stefan's claims. You know what I'm saying? Just keeping it all the way a buck. You know, people see how rich Dwight is. And so at any point in time, they're trying to take advantage of the situation to try to squeeze a dollar out this man. But ultimately, the only thing I want to know if they're going to call Kitty to the stand. Here, Kitty, Kitty. But anyway, guys, I'm going to let this go right here, man. This is, just, this is just crazy, bogus, out of control. This is just wild to the 10th power, right? So I want you guys to drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about this particular situation, okay? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, peace. Well,